So, a little update after a few months of planning we, um, and asking quotes and looking what we should do. We found out that the roof basically needs an upgrade. The roof from this side, it's in really bad shape and letting in water through the walls. And today we're also recovering or, or redoing these walls here because they are in bad shape with holes and they need to be redone. The roof from this side is in much better shape so this wall is letting in way less water. It's also been treated 30 years ago with a special form of painting. Uh, it's basically laying on a thick layer. It's called Kalein in Dutch but it needs to be redone a little bit because it's in a bad shape. And then obviously we need a solution for the dirty water from the toilet to go to the sewer sewage system and I did some digging a couple of weeks ago to find a rainwater um, pit, a rainwater collector that's connected to the sewage system from there on we'll need to dig a hole for the septic tank connected to the sewer sewage system and voila so that's another task that we need to do now we're using this dryer to suck out the humidity out of our room basically out of our um, wall that's oriented on the bad side of the roof and uh, when using a humidity detector here, putting it here, it's showing that it's really, really, really humid. Let's show me, show you guys. Oops. So now it's not reading anything because the connectors are not touching anything humid. But if I plug it into the wall here. Oops, you see the readings already spiked and then when I put it in real good you can tell it's going upwards of 40% humidity and uh, it's not even a really good humidity detector so oops yeah, you can see it's spiking up well so very 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 humid walls uh, we're gonna solve that by one making use of the dry weather, sucking out the humidity out of the walls and fixing the roof. Well, after that, we are still looking at how to insulate these walls knowing that uh, they're after these, this concrete layer and that's one of the first questions that we need to solve. Are we going to... Let me step out, is it noise? Are we going to... Um, remove the concrete layer, what type of insulation are we going to put. Um, yeah, it's all not, not very easy, a lot of people have their own opinions, so uh, we're still figuring that out as we go. That was the update. So this weekend we worked a little bit on cleaning the walls. If you saw the images from before, we managed to clean them up quite nicely with uh, spraying them with pressurized water and uh, basically sanding the wall with an angle grinder to get off all the algae because we need to be or we are going to treat the wall again with uh, the special layer this thick layer that gives us nice effect again in Dutch it's named Kalein no clue what it's called in English so we managed to clean it up quite nicely the top still needs to be done so we need to have um, we're going to install some sort of ladder system here to clean the top as well and then we will be repainting, redoing this section of the wall. And then here, this wall was also in a pretty bad shape. We started to redo all the seams, the voegen in Dutch, um, 
because they were uh, all eaten out by wasps and bees and it, they were just soaking in water so um, managed to get some progress in there as well and then here on the inside spent the whole day yesterday shooting out the plaster on this wall so I need to do the top, figure out how I'm going to get there um, and then we uh, encountered some difficulties with the cementing of this wall. Basically the previous owners they used this room as a painter studio so it didn't need to be um, really well insulated, they just needed waterproofing and that's exactly what this cement layer um, does. It, it's, it's water, it waterproofed basically the insides of the wall but because we are going to put insulation on the inside of these walls they need to basically regulate moisture we're going to be using henna blocks or hemp blocks that uh, auto regulates the moisture in the room but with the cement layer it wouldn't work because the cement layer would stop the moisture it, it would keep the moisture inside and uh, basically make the perfect breathing room, room for mold and other issues. Now, <clears throat> tried shooting away the cement layer and I'm messing up the brickwork. And because it's a very old wall with uh, the seams are not really done nicely, uh, I've, we believe that we're going to be messing with the structure, the, the structural strength of the wall. So, I'm not sure if this is going to be a good solution, but in order to make this wall breathe again, so that the insulation and the wall can self-regulate the moisture, I tried cutting these these yeah these these layers that connect to the seams and the brickwork. So my thinking is that if we make enough of these, like every 20 centimeters, horizontally and then maybe also vertically, we basically create like this breathing pattern for the wall while remaining the structural strength. So that's the, um, that's the idea right now. If you think that's bullshit, and we're also going to be asking um, or, or or basically brain picking other people uh, in the industry. We'll see about that maybe in the next video what what we found out there. But that's the that's the idea for the moment. Here as well, we need to remove the plaster because it doesn't breathe. We're going to be putting hemp blocks as insulation, so the plaster needs to go. And then same here, this plaster also all still needs to go. Voila.